mid journey. And we can start with Jet GPT, respectively OpenAI. So if we look at OpenAI website, it has Dal E, Dal E2, a platform to create realistic images and art from descriptions in natural language. So that's the way, and you may have seen some of this already, to create pictures and there's great examples here you know if you were to type in a photo of a white fur monster standing in a purple room it may create an image like this if you write a bit blue orange sliced and half laying on a blue floor in the front of a blue wall it'll create an image like this and other versions of this so this is dali it has also an interface that you can use uh with a website so for example or any other program really uh, you can integrate it there it's also pricing associated with that if you integrate it you can try it for free it generates uh, good results i've had some results that were disappointing actually quite disappointing uh, particularly when it comes to images of uh, faces of people and so forth so i actually stumbled across in a youtube video from somebody else on uh, to Midjourney. If you go to midjourney.com, it comes back with this uh, fancy looking website here. You have to uh, connect to or sign in using Discord. So if you have the Discord app on your computer, if not, I highly recommend it. And then if you do, um, you get to use uh, Midjourney uh, and go into one of the newbies rooms and uh, put in the comments, please, if you want me to do another video deep dive maybe on, on this topic, uh, as I likely will, but maybe you have specific questions, uh, feel free to comment, I'll answer. So if you go in here, and I've done some of this already, so this is a shared environment. Other people who are using it are in similar rooms. They put people into news, uh, into rooms, newbie rooms here, newbies rooms here, and then you can hack along and uh, if the uh, artificial intelligence algorithm here prompts so the way it works i have already created one i'll show you in a moment or look at it in a moment so you type imagine and then you get a prompt and then you can give any anything really so i've given in this one this is for me artificial intelligence taking over planet earth i'm using version four of the algorithm and i want the aspect ratio of this image to be three by two that's uh, this this is allowed in version uh, four uh, I will link in the video uh, a little manual on the prompt here and what you can use as parameters, so to say. And then you enter this, it takes a while, and then it will generate you four examples. And it done, has done so, and I'll zoom in on this here. So you see these images it has created within 30 seconds, a minute, depending on how long you have to wait, maybe two minutes. So very short time. Now you see this is fairly small, and then you can choose to and i've done this u is for upscale so you can make that image better resolution better quality and you can do v for versions so one two three four is the numbering here so you can upscale any any of those and you can do different versions of the same type of theme of that image so i've done this for for uh, one i've done uh, versions that's this one so I've done different versions of one of them and it gives me these different types. You know, you see there's different, you know, focuses inside the picture in the surroundings, background and so forth. So that's uh, pretty breathtaking as far as I'm concerned. And then you see other people are doing their commands at the same time and you kind of share the space. And this is the one that I upscaled. So I can say open original, it's going to go to the browser and you see the, the quality and depth of this um, of this picture. So pretty amazing stuff. I've used it for creating this avatar uh, for this video. And the background image here was uh, created by me using Midjourney. There is, uh, you can use it for free. Uh, generally speaking, but after a certain time, you actually have to sign up and uh, use a plan. So it has basic plan, standard plan, pro plan. The main difference is here uh, that you have unlimited relaxed generations. So that's generations where that I don't have priority, um, but you can have unlimited compared to 
a limited generation of 200 a month. But if you just want to play with it to test it, you can anyway use it for free in the beginning. I think that gives you around 50 or something uh, uh, generations of images. But if you want to say, oh, I'll try a little bit more, I don't want to spend too much money, uh, $10 plus tax, and, um, and make sure you do a man uh, monthly billing so you don't pay for a full year. So it's just 10 bucks plus the taxes for a month. And then you can play around with it uh, and see what if you like it. If not, you can go further. You know, I went uh, standard plan to the thirty dollars just to test it, play with it a little bit. The benefit of the pro plan is that you can do stealth image generation, where you actually uh, you can you know do a command that it doesn't show the image for other people, which is kind of nice if you're doing something that you know you don't want people to steal your idea because it's visible the other way. Uh, technically, nobody's allowed to use your images. Um, uh, except for mid journey themselves you have to be aware of that but you know if other people see it and they you know upscale it, download it then they have it and how are you gonna ever see what they're gonna do unless you search the web for it or whatever so the the paid plan for it so to say uh, as you can see if you go onto your screen then uh, user you see all the images that you've created these were the images that's what the images that i created earlier you see the type of images that are possible uh, just at a glance here so that's um that's mid journey uh, right there for you it's gonna revolutionize in some sense uh, that whole space of creativity with um, pictures of all sorts paintings so 